Babylon, Belshazzar was his name. He was a great and mighty king, but evil was his fame. He never knew to pray, he never served the living God, while upon the earth he trod. Belshazzar gave a party there, and all the people came. The princes and the nobles just to honor his great name. They feasted and they drank and made them merry in the town, as they danced around and round. And as they danced and reveled there within the palace hall, a hand appeared upon the scene and wrote upon the wall. A hand without a body came and wrote a message there, and the king did shake with fear. He cried out to his wise men, come and see what I have seen. Come read this message on the wall and tell me what it means. The prophets and the wise men came and pondered loud and long, but their answers all were wrong. Belshazzar, you better watch out. Belshazzar, there isn't a doubt. The Lord's watching you, seeing all that you do. Oh, oh, oh. Belshazzar. The queen then said, Oh, mighty king, I know whom you should call. Call Daniel in, for he can read that writing on the wall. For Daniel is a man of God who spent his time in prayer. He can read that message there. The king then summoned Daniel to within the palace hall and said, Now, Daniel, tell me what is written on the wall. I'll treat you mighty fine and many riches you may own if you'll make a meaning known. Belshazzar, you better watch out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Then Daniel spoke and said, Oh, king, forever you may live. Your gifts of gold and silver to another you may give. But gladly will I tell you what is written there for you, mighty king, your days are through. You've never served a living God, you've never kneeled and prayed, and now he's found you wanting in the balances you're weighed. Your kingdom is divided, and the Lord is through with you. Mighty king, your days are through. Belshazzar, you better watch out. Belshazzar, there isn't a doubt. The Lord's watching you, seeing all that you do. Oh.